Hello guys, good day. I'm back again for another tutorial. This is HBT tutorial for your basic setup, installation configuration for some basic and open source application. Okay guys, so for today's video, we will continue our basic settings on configuration for our Magnus billing. So for today, we, uh, our last video we tackle is about the termination. So means we uh, we integrate our Telnix, the our B or Wi-Fi provider, to uh, Magnus Billing, and we already made the test, and we we have made successfully outbound calls. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna teach you on how to uh, set up the originating originating or the inbound call, assign the DIDs, etc., etc. Okay, okay. First, you need to log in your Magnus billing okay so this is our Magnus billing is hosted to Contabo so you can check the des description and click the link uh, at the description so that you can able to get a special discounts okay so for today we're gonna continue our setup so as you can see we have here the following so we have configured before the provider trunk and trunk group okay and then we have also we have also configured the flan tariff and prefix okay so we have here also for now we're going to add the id okay so we have here the user and other settings okay so and now we're gonna continue our configuration okay so you first we need to get our deeds uh, I will use my I will use this okay just copy and then I'm gonna add the DID here so this is our this is the deeds okay country US uh, uh, okay color ID name no uh, what is the setup price for inbound for example 0.55 monthly price if they have some charge for month so you can use five dollars okay so connection charge zero and uh, minimum mini charge this means the should be one by fry should be six on six incrementing six okay so so it should be on master server yeah charge to the ID and owners okay description should be on tell next deeds I just put tell next the ID so that I know okay just save and now in, uh, our deeds is added on our system and then first we need to uh, we need to set up this uh, to assign to our to client okay so from here you need to do a destination then new search the deeds okay this is all the under the backend okay assign to the client okay so from here to zip by a zip so you can set to by a zip and then save as you can see the not up to upgrade to why did so first I'm going to do we need to add some repeals so I just put some I just put some credits like ten dollars added okay then can go back to our deeds save okay it's successfully added okay so now uh, we will configure the accounts so from here so this one so we need to change this one to the routing so this is the routing so we're going to do bg magnus switch and then save and then after that i need to do uh, support let me check the support because i need the zip trunk configuration ok 
Okay. Asterix guide. So we have a lot of guides over here. Configuring trunk. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, so completing dial plant. Okay. So I need to double check the signaling IP of the Telnix. Uh, Telnix signaling IPs. Okay. Uh, or is the I need to double check that because we need we need the IPs. Okay, I think this is one. Inbound calls. Okay, I can say the inbound media. So I think we can add this. Uh, let me double check what IP we're gonna but we going we I'm going to configure it so I need to get my get my zip account okay let me double check okay okay it's connected so let me try let me try to make a call okay if I if I copy this one wait let me okay so uh, gonna make a test okay so this is our client Okay. So our zip is online. So we will try to make uh the DID was assigned and it was set to uh Okay. Let me let me try to make a call okay gonna dial on my skype number so as you can see uh, he said playing enter fin number okay because the issue here as you can see our our number okay as you can see from here okay uh, is set to 10 digits only so e64 e e164 only not e1 plus 64 so but the telnix sending uh, with one so we need to modify this one okay so just uh, I'm gonna duplicate my uh, my system so you need to go here okay extension and then underscore magnus dot com so from here you need to modify that or add okay so I think we can add over here so one 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 or this one they omit the one so from here okay uh, we can we can set like that again or we can change to one 
and then one 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 okay and then we try to reload dial plan reload or reload okay and then we're gonna try again to call our number okay let's see if this one is will ring so as you can see i can able to receive the call now right so it means the number my did was submitted the one so that it will match on the number added on our magnus okay so hope you are get and able to understand our video for today so the topic was uh, topic uh, is uh, about the originating or the inbound or assigning the DID from Telnix to Magnus then from Magnus user to uh, extensions okay so uh, once again this is HBT tutorial for your basic setup configuration and uh, uh, installation for other open source application okay so for next video will be uh, we gonna add Magnus Billing to Beachy Dial. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Bye bye.